Ever wondered about the mysteries of Vatican City, the smallest independent state in the world? Nestled within the heart of Italy's bustling capital Rome, this city-state is a world of its own, bursting with an intriguing blend of history, culture, and spiritual significance. As the spiritual home of the Catholic Church, Vatican City serves as a beacon of faith for millions worldwide. It's not just about the religion, though. This tiny enclave is a treasure trove of artistic masterpieces, architectural wonders, and traditions that have stood the test of time. So, what makes Vatican City so captivating? That's what we're here to discover. Join us on this enlightening journey as we unravel the fascinating facets of Vatican City. Our story begins centuries ago, in the heart of Rome, where the foundations of what we now know as Vatican City began to take shape. This journey back in time takes us first to the Roman Empire, when the site was known as Vatican Hill. It was here on this hallowed ground, that Saint Peter, one of the twelve apostles of Jesus, was crucified and buried in the first century AD. This marked the beginning of the site's religious significance that continues to this day. Fast forward to the 8th century when Pope Stephen II sought protection from the Lombard invasions. This led to the formation of the Papal States, a collection of territories in the Italian peninsula under the direct sovereign rule of the Pope. For over a thousand years the Papal States played a crucial role in the political and religious landscape of Italy. Yet the unification of Italy in the 19th century saw the dissolution of the Papal States, leaving the Pope with only Vatican City. This sparked the Roman question a political dispute regarding the Pope's temporal power and position. The resolution came with the signing of the Lateran Treaty in 1929. This historic agreement between the Holy See and Italy recognized Vatican City as an independent state, with the Pope as its head. In return the Pope acknowledged the Kingdom of Italy, with Rome as its capital. This treaty also led to the construction of Vatican City as we know it today, from St. Peter's Square's Grand Colonnade to the towering obelisk at its center. The Vatican City we see now is a testament to centuries of religious devotion, political intrigue, and architectural grandeur. So, as we walk the streets of Vatican City, remember, beneath our feet lies the echo of centuries past, from the time of the Roman Empire to the signing of the Lateran Treaty. This historical backdrop serves as the foundation for the Vatican City we know today. Did you know the Pope is not just a spiritual leader but also a head of state? Yes, you heard that right. The governance of Vatican City is quite unique with the Pope at its helm. The Pope is not only the spiritual leader of the worldwide Catholic Church, but also the sovereign of Vatican City, the world's smallest independent state. Vatican City is a theocratic monarchy, meaning it is both a religious and political entity. The Pope, elected by the College of Cardinals, serves as the monarch. He has absolute executive, legislative, and judicial power within the state. The Pope also appoints members of the Vatican's government, the Roman Curia, who assist him in his dual role. These governing bodies manage everything from cultural affairs to finance, ensuring the smooth running of this tiny but influential city-state. The Pope's dual role makes Vatican City a unique entity on the global stage. For a place that's only 44 hectares it's home to a very special group of people. Vatican City, the world's smallest independent state, has a population of about 800 most of whom are clergy. This includes the Pope himself, cardinals, and members of the Swiss Guard, who are responsible for the Pope's safety and the security of the Vatican. There's also a small community of laypeople who reside within the Vatican, including diplomats and their families, as well as the workers who maintain the city's infrastructure and services. When it comes to language, Latin holds a special place as the official language of the Holy See. However, Italian is most commonly spoken, reflecting the city's location in the heart of Rome. The cuisine here is much like the rest of Italy with pasta, risotto and pizza being staples. But remember, this is the Vatican so expect your meals to come with a side of history and tradition. Vatican City may be small but its cultural richness is truly unparalleled. Vatican City is more than a city-state, it's a world-renowned destination for art, culture, and faith. A visit to Vatican City is a trip of a lifetime where one can explore the stunning blend of history, spirituality, and artistic excellence. Among the must-see attractions are St. Peter's Basilica, an architectural marvel and the largest church in the world, and the Vatican Museums, home to a vast collection of art and historical artifacts. Every corner of these museums is a testament to human creativity, with the Sistine Chapel being the crown jewel. 
The chapel ceiling, painted by Michelangelo, is a breathtaking masterpiece that leaves visitors in awe of its grandeur and intricacy. But Vatican City isn't just about sightseeing, it's also a hub of learning and healthcare. The city-state is home to several educational institutions, including the Pontifical Gregorian University, where students from around the world come to study theology, philosophy, and canon law. These institutions not only contribute to the intellectual richness of Vatican City, but also play a significant role in promoting dialogue and understanding between different cultures and faiths. Healthcare in Vatican City is another aspect that embodies the principles of compassion and care that the Catholic Church upholds. The Vatican Pharmacy, for instance, not only serves the residents of the city-state but also caters to pilgrims and tourists, providing them with medical services and products. The Bambino Gesù Hospital, a pediatric hospital administered by the Holy See, is renowned for its excellent medical care and research. Whether you're an art enthusiast, a history buff, or a spiritual seeker, Vatican City has something for everyone. From the awe-inspiring art and architecture to the quality education and healthcare, every aspect of this city-state reflects its commitment to fostering a culture of learning, well-being, and spiritual enrichment. So, when you're planning your next travel adventure, consider Vatican City, a place where history, art, and faith converge to create an unforgettable experience. But how does the world's smallest independent state sustain itself economically, you might ask? Well, the Vatican economy is intriguing, to say the least. Predominantly, the Vatican's income is generated through voluntary contributions from devout Catholics worldwide, aptly named Peter's Pence. This financial support is supplemented by the sale of postage stamps, tourist mementos, and admission fees to museums. The Vatican also manages a portfolio of real estate properties both within its walls and in broader Italy. These properties provide a steady stream of rental income further bolstering the Vatican's financial stability. The expenditures of the Vatican are just as fascinating. Much of the income is invested back into the maintenance and enhancement of the city-state's cultural institutions. These include the world-renowned Vatican Museums and the Vatican Library, which houses an invaluable collection of historic texts and manuscripts. Despite its size, Vatican City is a well-oiled machine, operating efficiently and effectively. As we conclude our journey, let's revisit some of the highlights of our exploration. We've traversed through the rich history of Vatican City, from its origins as a papal enclave to its evolution as the spiritual hub of the Catholic Church. We've delved into its unique governance led by the Pope, and learned about the tight-knit community that calls this city-state home. Vatican City, despite its compact size, houses globally recognized landmarks, like St. Peter's Basilica and the Vatican Museums, and serves as a top tourist destination. We've experienced the divine touch in its cuisine, the scholarly pursuits within its educational institutions, and the compassionate care within its healthcare system. This city-state, adorned with Renaissance masterpieces and maintained by well-organized administrative divisions, has forged peaceful diplomatic ties worldwide. It sustains a unique economy, supported by Catholics globally, and boasts state-of-the-art infrastructure. To add a little more charm to our exploration, here are some fun facts about Vatican City. Did you know it's the only country in the world where Latin is still used for official purposes? Or that it has one of the highest crime rates, but also one of the highest clearance rates? Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey into the heart of Vatican City, a beacon of history, culture, and faith.